Try what? Try and mute myself. No, don't unmute yourself. Because it's going to make a really loud screechy noise. Okay. So, uh, I thought it would be fun to do a spelling drill with Bella. We were going to do this earlier, but we decided that we wanted to go to the park instead. So, we didn't do it earlier, but we're doing it right now. So, I have these cards by Lakeshore, and you can get these. It really goes like this. <laughs> you can get these from Lakeshore Learning, and they have... No, don't do that. Don't rip it off. Come here. This is the live life, you guys. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> he can't unbutton his own button it. So we'll get to this in just a second, but hold on. Let me help the baby. Okay, go on. So you can use my bathroom to change if you want. So anyway. We are going to do uh, phonics drills. We're going to use these cards by Lakeshore. And in the pack, it has vowel combinations. So vowel combinations, long vowels, blends, R-controlled vowels, and short vowels. And so she's slowly working her way through the cards. And so I'm gonna just kind of show you where, where we are. And this is something you can do with your children as well. You can make your own flashcards because these can be kind of expensive. The benefit to these is they also have like pictures on one side for the word ones. But you can make your own flashcards or um, you can purchase these from Lakeshore Learning. She has a pretty fat stack, but we're gonna go through these much quicker than you think. And this is a great way to get your child learning to read. And I wanted to use Bella because Bella really excels at mathematics and Liz really excels at reading. And so I had to get Bella kind of up to speed and get her comfortable, hey Cass, get her comfortable with reading. And so this is how we did it. So first we're gonna go through our vowel combinations, our controlled vowels, our uh, short vowels, and I think we're just doing long vowels. I don't think we're doing, we're actually, I think we're doing all of them. I think we're doing all of them except the only ones we're not doing are the digraphs. All right, so. Let's start. Do you want to look at your camera? Or do you want to look at me? Uh, just camera. Can you guys hear her? Because I couldn't get my mic to like pick up. So can you guys hear Bella? What is it, Bella? Hmm. Yes or no? Can you guys hear her? I hope so. You have to do it loud. I'm not sure if they can hear you because I can't get that the good mic to come on. Let me see if I can get it to work. Mm. Yeah, for whatever reason, my mic isn't. Is it on the microphone? Yet? No, it's not on the big mic. So hopefully, oh, you can't, yeah, you can't really hear her. That's what I thought. But I can't turn her mic on because we're too close together. Can you speak a little louder? Um, he try. What is that? It's an I. I forgot the name. It's like the short ones, so it's like eh. Oh, eh. So that's the first one she's missed so far. 
E or e or e, yeah. Oh, I'm out. Ow. Er. Mm -hmm. I. I. Oi. Oi. E. E. Ah. O. O. Eh, very good. Ah, uh, very good. Oh, oh very good. A, a very good. Mm. Full, mm. very good. Mm. Full. Mm. Mm. One. Ah, ah. Mm. Very good. Mm. Very good. Her. Good. Good. Her. Very good. Her. Okay, so those are all of the R controlled vowels, short vowels, blends. Vowel combinations and long vowels. Uh, when did we go into the purple vowels? I added them. I added the purple ones in. So the purple cards she may not know as well. And so th with those, since she can pronounce all of those, she should be able to read all of the words that I'm about to hold up. So like I said, you can copy the cards that we're doing because, you know, I homeschool, but now everybody's homeschooling. And I've even had my sister be like, Irene, what should I do? So um, this is like just a good drill for if you have somebody that isn't feeling confident in reading, a lot of times it's because they try to sound out each letter and we know that words don't work like that. Like the letters, you don't sound each individual one out when they're in a word. So they have to learn those combinations in order to read. So she should be able to read all of the following words. Let's see. Plug. Plug, very good. And how old are you, Bella? Nine. She turned nine in December. Uh, mom. Stay. Stay. Bank? Look at the word. Oh, yeah. But there's an E at the end of the word. Do you need to look Doesn't at it in person? A said the name. Yes. I said spank. That's what you said. But what other sound does C make? Uh, sp a space. Space. And then she can see that on the back, there is a picture of space, which is one of the reasons I like this card, these cards. Uh, Mom. Read. Read, very good. And then there's a picture of a mommy and a baby reading. Uh, beans. Beans, good job. Are you sure you don't want to read them in person? Is it hard for you to see it on that screen? Because you can just look at them. I guess I can. Maze? What other sound does A make? What would make that make a long A? There's no E there. Mask. 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 Very good. Foil. Foil. Very good. Very good. Huh? Very good. So literally I had her practicing these and 
Then I pushed her and within a day, we got up to all of these cards. Again, because math is her stronger subject and I think reading was a little bit harder for her. So every child kind of learns at their own pace. Elizabeth just started reading by herself, just from watching other people read. Bella is a little more hands-on with the reading, but she excels with her math. So I think that's what we have to realize, like each child is different. And so these drills are really good if you have somebody that's hesitant to read or slower to read, or maybe they can read and you know they can read, but they don't seem as confident in their reading. These drills are really good for building their confidence. Okay, go ahead. Stays? Yeah. If you're going to move, I'm going to do that. There. Now you can look. You can look now. I just want to make sure they can see you. Very good. Very good. Do you have to speak up louder? Feather. Feather. Very good. Three. So this will be a slightly harder word for her. Laundry. Laundry. Very good. Very good. Chain. No, chain. Chain, right? Dice. Yep, and there's a picture of dice on this side. Braid? Yes. It has two of them in. Stay right where you are. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. There. Nest? Yes. Okay. Nanaki said, go, Bella. You're so smart. Who's <laughs> Nanaki? She's uh, one of my internet friends. Um, and Lindora, Miss Lindora said that you're doing well and that she's enjoying watching your progress. Thank you. She said, thank you, Lindora. I don't know if you heard her. Gloves. Gloves, very good. Fire. Very good. Peace. Okay. Dip. Very good. Dirt. Dirt. Very good. Grapes. Very good. Um, You're on the right track. Well, the A is not going to say ah because there's an E there. Mm -hmm. Skates. Very good. Music. Very good. Mouse. Good job. Street. Good job. Mm -hmm. 
Um, well, G says G, but it also says J, like in giraffe. Oh. So if G doesn't work, then try J. Okay. Lunger? Good job. Hi, Dark Prophet. And Lindora said you're welcome. And she hopes that you feel you're doing a good job too. Which after we get through this first half, actually I'm gonna to talk to Bella about what she feels about these drills. Cause I think that they're great, but what the kid thinks really matters too. Great. Great, good job. Corn. Good job. Snap. Good job. Here? Well, the E makes the vowel, the I say its name. Oh. Hi. I thought it was really funny uh, that she struggled with this, but I guess you don't think about the fact that the I E, that the I, I E says I. Thread. Thread, good. Snout. Good job. This is a harder word and I I added the red cards in. So all of these red cards, I'll show you guys, don't look. All of those red cards are words she hasn't seen yet because I just added those in at the end of our last session. Good. Mm -hmm. Trumpet? Trumpet, very good. Crane. Good job. And I wonder if it's going to be the bird or it's going to be, yeah, it's the bird. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many people Cows? say this word wrong? No. So everybody pronounces this word wrong. So when you see it written, I know she's probably never pronounced this word correctly in her life. Pronunciation I find is like the main thing that dictates how people spell. So it's crayons. Crayons? Because we say crowns, right? Like a crown on your head, but the word is crayon. We just don't say that in common speech. We kind of butcher this word which really handicap, handicaps children because then they they don't know that it's crayon, it's crayons, right? Crayons, so we say crowns, 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 but it's you not. You say it too. I say it too. No, I say it too, but I know how it's spelled. I'm just saying when you're teaching your children, a lot of times when I'm talking to my children, I put emphasis on some sounds, like I, I, I enunciate a lot around my house, so, what are some things I enunciate? Like, right? I'll always say where, why. I'll enunciate that WH because a lot of times we make it sound like a W, but I know that they're gonna spell the way that I teach them to talk. So I over enunciate a lot of commonly mispronounced sounds so that they get used to the, the idea that those are the way that the word is said. So crayons is one of those words. We say crowns, but it's really crayons. So I'm not surprised that she got trumped up with that one because I feel like most little kids will because who says it correctly? I know nobody that says that word correctly. Hammer. Hammer. And that was one of the purple cards. Glass. Good job. Mm -hmm. So she struggled with this word, not because she couldn't read it, but because in her mind, P, B, and D 
excuse me, I have no problems with peace. Then why did you make a peace sound just now? That's I'm telling you, sound. in her mind, because when she sounds the words out, I notice this. Well, you can look at them. If you're, Are you looking at them or are you looking at me? I'm looking at you. Okay. In her mind, I've noticed that P, B, and D get convoluted. Not so much anymore, uh, what but does convoluted like mean? they get confused. They get mixed up together. Oh, okay. Um, not so much anymore. You know, they give medication for that in public schools. But at homeschool, you can just sweetly remind them every time, and then eventually they'll learn to self-correct. So, oh, happy birthday, Dark Prophet. So, I won't go through all the cards. Technically, if we were going through the whole session, so she did, for you guys, she did... Um, these cards, right? If we were going through this whole session, like tomorrow when we have our session together, she'll do all these cards. And she will also do the cards that we started with. So every drill, I start with these cards and then I go to the word cards. Okay, so Bella, you look at them this time. So Isabella. Let me ask you, I'm gonna interview you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you, how do you feel more confident with your reading since we started doing these reading drills? Yes. Why? Uh, because it's not so hard to sound at all at work and I don't have to do step by step by step by step. You wanna sit with me? Uh, sure. Here, okay, so we're gonna make it big so that you guys can hear her easily. Okay, come over here. Wait, do you want to bring your chair over or are you just going to like... I'm trying to bring it over. Should I scoot over? Sure. Okay. Come on down. Okay, my Bella. Okay. So, Bella, do you feel... <laughs> do you feel... <laughs> okay, we're goofy. Do you feel that since you've started the reading drills, you're, you feel more confident when you're reading? Yes. Why? Because I can read them better. Okay. Um, what do you think helped the most? Okay, I can I tell you what I think helped the most? Sure. You can tell me if I'm right. I think that it was these cards that helped you the most. Yeah. So would you say that, so let me ask you something else. Can I tell them? No. Fine. Are you sure? Okay. So she said, <laughs> she said I could tell you guys something, even though it would slightly embarrass her. So you guys know that I homeschool, but my children participate in the Zyx program. And so I actually have three little ones in my home still. And so those three little ones are each in a different class. So my Elizabeth, who is 11, is in the pre-college class because she's very bright. And my Bella doll is in the intermediate class. Why? And then you are still in the class. She's okay. in the intermediate class. And then my baby is in the K through two class. So I found that Bella was getting off task in the intermediate class. And I felt a lot of that is because Zyx has a very like rigorous program and there's a lot of reading, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of reading. Uh, I know in my uh, social studies class, there's a lot of note taking. And do you think that it's frustrating uh, when you're trying to do schoolwork, but you can't read as quickly or as easily as the class moves? Yes. Does that make you kind of get off task? Mm -hmm make you like not want to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I figured. I kind of figured that her getting off task and like not really doing what she ought to be doing in the class, I felt like that was probably because she was feeling a little bit like, you know, uncomfortable because her reading was not probably where she wanted it to be. So what I did was I pulled her out of the class for a little bit and what did we start doing? We start to practice reading. 
we started to do these cards. And now that um, now that we're doing the cards, I feel Bella feels a lot more confident, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, don't just say that because I'm saying it. Do you really feel more confident? Mm -hmm. Do you think that like it's easier to sound out words now that you know a lot more of the rules? Yes. So for me, I've never had to teach phonics before. And I think this is relevant like as more of us are homeschooling because of like the corona thing. Um, I've never had to teach phonics before. With my other children that I've taught to read, basically they just picked up reading. Like I could just say the word to them and they picked up all the rules by themselves. I'm pretty sure they picked up all the rules, rules by themselves. Um, with Bella, I had to really get to like the nitty gritty of it, which is the phonics, which is something I took for granted because even though we use phonics all the time, we don't think about the fact that we're using phonics. Like with EA, the fact that it can say E or what? Eh. Eh. Who thinks about that? But it's highly relevant when you're trying to read. <laughs> so um, it didn't take you long. It took her about a week to get really proficient. And like I said, the only cards that we haven't done are like these blue cards. Um, and there aren't very many of them. And some of them you already know. They, I think she knows most of these except for like PH, which makes like the F sound. So I think by the end of this week, she will be beyond her grade level, like with reading, but she won't probably be able to read quickly yet right? Because that takes being comfortable and kind of getting like really memorizing words. Because they say that people don't really read words. They look at the first few letters or the first and the last few and they kind of guess, take an educated guess, but that we all don't really read, read anymore unless we encounter a word that we're unfamiliar with. So I think that she will be beyond her grade level reading wise as what as far as like what she can sound out and read by the end of this week. And that's like a huge amount of progress because I think it was kind of hard for you. Did you feel like it was hard? Oh, stop that. Just pop, just pop it. So do you find that reading's a little more easy? Yes. When I pulled out that literary reader for you, and I had you read to Christian, did you feel like you read that story pretty easily? Yes. Was that exciting? It was easy. And and she was able, when she was reading, she was able to like do voices for the characters. And like if the character was being a little sassy because she was reading The Little Red Hen, she was able to like act that out. And that makes reading so much more fun, right? Yes. And what is Liz always telling you that um, you'll feel about reading once you get good at it? That I'll love it. So her big sister has been telling her when she gets really good at reading, she's going to love it. And I think that story in the literary reader that I had her read her brother, um, I think that kind of proved that was like way more fun reading it when you could just easily read it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, a love of reading because we do a lot of reading around here. We have a lot of books. Would you say we have lots and lots of books? Yes. We have books on every floor of our house. <laughs> yep, some upstairs, some downstairs, some in Yeah, room. on the first, second, and third floor, we have books. They have books in their playroom. They have books in their rooms. So that's pretty much what people have to do around here. So I think, oh, look, she's reading your comments, you guys. <laughs> That's so funny. Like literally as I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, she's looking down there and she's like reading your comments. Lindora said, yes, many schools don't use phonics anymore. Phonics are so necessary. Definitely. So um, yeah, Nanaki, her spirit is really sweet. Bella is probably my most empathetic child like empathetic, empathetic means that you feel for people. Like if she sees somebody upset or crying, she wants to address it. Um, she just cares a lot about people. She cares a lot about animals. She feels things very deeply. So she'll cry or get upset or be happy like quicker than the rest of us. And she definitely doesn't like to see people in pain. Like even if it's just her little brother, even if like, 
her baby brother is kind of getting on her nerves. If he's having a hard time, she doesn't believe in ignoring people when they're upset. Do you? Uh, no. Yeah. So she will address it, um, which also means that he comes to her if he can't get anybody else to give him attention because he knows that Bella will not let him be sad. <laughs> but, but yeah. But with that said, um, well, your journey, this is my family channel. So yeah. Um, but anyway, with that said, I want to encourage you guys, if you have a child, especially now that everybody, like I said, is kind of forced into homeschooling, whereas we were already doing it. If you find that your child is being off task with their work, um, just try to get to the bottom of what it was. So I saw that Bella was off task and I had to kind of assess what I thought the problem was. And I felt that it was, she did not feel she could read fast enough or well enough to keep up with the older children. And so we addressed that. And I think these cards are really, really good. So the cards that we use today are the Phonic Sounds cards. They're top. What did you say? We have to do the top. Oh, this I think you're like, I think it. Mom, that's the top. What's the top? That's yeah, this the is top. the top. Yeah. Then what happened to the bottom? I don't know. You tell me what happened. You guys happened to the bottom. But yeah, there, these are the Phonic Sounds cards. You can get them at Lakeshore Learning. Um, they're 280. It says Phonics. Right there. Oh, because it has the pH. Yeah. Yes. And um, they have worked really well for us. I've actually never had to use, I've had these cards for several years. I've never had to use them with a child, but I use them with Bella and I'm glad that I had them in my arsenal because those are really good. And something else that we do is like after she learns a few of the words, then I will take our whiteboard and I'll write a sentence using these words just to make sure that she understands them like when they're in an actual sentence and not just like on a card. So um, yeah, just some encouragement, some ideas of some drills you can do with your children while you're at home. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe you'll find out that you love homeschooling and when the schools open back up, you'll choose to continue to homeschool your child because it's actually a lot easier than you think. I'm glad that Bella and I did this though because it makes me happy when she feels confident in her reading abilities. And I love to read. I have a household full of people that love to read and we all wanted Bella to love to read. Weren't we kind of like the one of us love to read books? And she was like, I hate reading, but it's not so much I think that you hated reading. I just think that it was that she didn't know how wonderful it could be. Do you think it'll be wonderful? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll check back in with her in a few weeks. So anyway, that's what I wanted to do today. But we went to the park today. And what did you think? Like, she was not happy when we went to the park. What weren't you happy about? Because all the playgrounds were closed. They were closed. All our playgrounds had caution tape around them. So we have a huge park. Would you say that park is like massive? Yes. It's huge. It's not just a park with like swings and stuff. It has like wooded areas. It's like a massive giant park and it has three separate playgrounds and like all this other stuff. And we got there and then I don't know what Bella thought she was going to do because she was wearing a silk dress. So I don't know what kind of playing she, what kind of playing did you think you were gonna do in a silk dress? She was literally wearing like a silk, of 100% silk dress. So I don't know what made her think I was gonna let her get on the playground anyway, but Mom, you should have- It wasn't 100%, you know? Why it isn't 100% though? Only the top was the 100%. Oh, you mean the petticoats are not silk? Yes, which makes okay, it Okay, so anyway, the dress is 100% silk, but she is correct. The petticoats and the crinoline that go under the dress are not silk. Nevertheless, this girl should have known she wasn't gonna get on any uh, slides and swings and stuff in a silk dress anyway, but the look on her face when she saw the caution tape like wrapped <laughs> around the hole, they did it so dramatically, you guys. It was like yellow tape like wrapped around the whole playground multiple times like you would kind of just like wrap up a piece of furniture you're trying to move. Uh, mom, 
It wasn't just on around it. Didn't you see the little kid playground? They used to do it on the slide and everything. Oh, apparently on the little kids, because each playground is like built for different sized children. Um, apparently on the little kid playground, they had even put caution tape like down the slide. It was hilarity, but Bella was not, she was like literally, she acted like she didn't want to walk into the park. As soon as she saw it, her whole face just went like. <laughs> and then Christian saw like kids playing basketball at the court. And he was like, can I go play basketball? And I had to be like, cause you guys, if you guys are on my other channel, you heard what Mr. had to say. I had to be like, no, we can't play basketball with them. But there were a lot of people out in our neighborhood, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of people out. They oh, were doing. You told them that we got ice cream. Okay, so I don't know how you guys feel about this, but an ice cream truck did come by. Finally, Finally yeah, because an ice cream trucks really don't come to our neighborhood. But like every once in six months or something, one will lose its way and find its way over here. To be exact, last year was the last time that we got one, and um, the kids were excited and. Did I let them get ice cream from the ice cream truck? Yes. Yes, I did. And Mr. paid for it. <laughs> so that was just a little like fun part of the day that we were able to enjoy. So I was happy like about that. I think they were too. Anyway, we're rambling. We're going to go. And um, yeah, I just encourage you guys, if you're homeschooling, uh, we'll probably do another drill like this. Oh, Nanaki, she's reading your comment. What does it say? Ah, uh, uh, oh, that's like. Uh, man, that's. Uh, yeah. The ace, the ace is A. Cur, uh, A, Z. Crazy. So, what does it say? Ah, um, man. That's crazy. <laughs> See, now I won't be able to like be texting and stuff around her because she tries to read everything at this point. Like if it can be read, she's like got her nose in it. So anyway, with that said, we'll talk to you guys later. Bella, thank you for doing this with me. You're welcome. And thank you for letting me tell the story about like what got us to, to do this because I think it's important for other moms, especially to hear it from a kid's perspective. You're a kid. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. We will see you at some point.